Hi, we're Alicia and Jared, and welcome to another episode. Join us as we travel around Australia in our Sprinter van, Mali. Subscribe and let's see what this beautiful country has to offer. Welcome back to another week of us road tripping around Tasmania in our camper van. This week we're exploring the northeast of the state. We're visiting the town of Scottsdale, which has lavender fields near it, as well as the town of Derby to do some mountain biking. We've just come to one of the most famous spots in Tasmania. It's one of those places that if you were here at the right time of the year, you just can't miss it. So we've pulled on up, we've parked Marley, and this is where we are. Welcome! <laughs> After exploring the lavender fields, we headed to our camp in Scottsdale for the night. We're staying at the Scottsdale North East Park. This used to be an old caravan site, so there's water available, a dump point, toilets at the back, and nice grassy areas. At the back of the campground, there's a toilet block which has hot showers for $3. This is the park located at the back of the campground. It's such a pretty park to just chill out, read your book, and relax. There's walking trails off here, as well as bicycle trails. And if you get up early, you may see the platypus that live in this little pond. We have just pulled up in Derby and we are here for the next three days mountain biking. We're also catching up with our friends Claire and Jake, which are amazing people and told us about this awesome little campsite. So we're gonna go stay there, but I'll show you guys a little tour of the town. Awesome little cute general store on the left there. You've got the tavern on the front. You've got a coffee cafe on the left. You have uh, rentals up here on the left if you need. A museum on the right. And that's pretty much it. That's Derby for you. So this is where we've been parked up in Derby for the last couple of nights. It's absolutely free right here on the river. How amazing is that? But there have been a few bugs. We actually found a couple of hornets in our van trying to make a nest. It only happened within an hour. So uh, even having the mosquito net, they're actually like this mosquito net here. They're just finding little uh, holes to get in and get in the van. But it's been absolutely amazing. We cannot believe it's free. It's right near town. So we've been walking to cafes and restaurants, the general store, the pub. It's just awesome. Like so nice of them to do that. So this is the free toilet and shower block put on by the Rotary Club of Derby. Thank you guys, absolute legends. If you're having a cold shower, it's free, unlimited time. If you're having a hot shower, it's three bucks for four minutes. And that's the only the one here in town. If you're going to stay at the other free camp, it's like four bucks for four minutes. So a little bit cheaper here and you can have some cold water. And at the back, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the mountain bike washdown bay back there. So after you're done riding, make sure you wash your bikes down, keep them nice and clean and look after the maintenance on those things. They do have water fill ups here, but they don't have a waste dump point. So this is where the bike trails all start. So you come down here, and this is where the shuttles are. Go to the left, Derby Tunnel. Here it is. That was sick. <laughs> Having dinner on the river. We're heading towards the next town now to do a dump of the toilet because we need to. But uh, yeah, other than that, everything else is tick, 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 derby. Awesome. And you're right in the heart of the mountain biking, which Jared loved. <sighs> so sick he's been really patient with me we've had an amazing time we've been riding the whole three days so it's really good there's from beginners through to advanced there's all different trails and choose your whatever you want and this is one of the free camps it's got a tennis court and the toilets are up there and a playground as well 
Before heading to the coast, we heard about this little blue lake. The lake is this color due to being an old mine and the minerals in the base of the lake reflect this vivid blue color. It's very beautiful, but it is not recommended to go swimming in. Thanks for watching guys. We had a great time at the Lavender Field and Derby mountain biking. We highly recommend stopping off at those two places. Stay tuned for next week as we start heading down the east coast of Tasmania. And we also stay at one of the best free camps we have ever stayed at in our lives. It is stunning. See you guys next week. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we bring out a new video every week. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next adventure.